Hello Rat Bags, it's Jade. Welcome to Akona Next Souls tutorial video. Today we're going to be taking a look at leveling up on official settings or servers. Now this works if you're playing single player, if you're boosted, it's still going to be the same principle. How do you get higher levels really quickly or what's the best methods? This isn't a glitchy video. I'm not going to suddenly teach you how to get to level 60 in the space of half an hour. But what I am hopefully going to do is point out some obvious stuff, maybe some stuff you really didn't know. This guide really is for progressing from sort of level 0 to 15 and just being around either the river or possibly into the jungle areas and tiny little bit of the desert. So thank you so much for the support, been smashing it still, don't forget to like this video if you find it useful and let's crack on with Conan Exiles Leveling Up Official Settings Guide. Okay, it's pretty obvious, but go and activate every single tablet you find. You don't get as much XP as you're used to. They nerfed it quite a lot from when it first launched, but you still get a small amount, so you might as well do it. What you will get a hell of a lot of experience is finding locations. And when you spawn in the desert, don't just immediately run in. Grab the water canteen that you'll find just in front of you and start going left or right depending where you are. You should find six spawn points or six broken highways. Each one of these locations gives you absolute bundles of XP and it's just a general good tip. Run around the whole map as much as possible. Find yourself an app or find yourself a good map online that shows you every single location and just literally run to it. Take an hour out of your time. Don't do anything else other than get some roll mats, maybe some water, maybe some food and just literally run around the whole map. As you gain experience points, put them all into survival so that you get the perk where you can eat any raw meat. This is going to allow you to carry on going further and further, not having to worry about where you're going to get your food from. They did nerf this to some extent last year, so you don't get as much XP from just exploring the lands. But I still think it's a really good way to get started if you're brand new to Conan Exiles. It means you can scout out the lands, you can find locations that you like, and obviously you're still going to be gaining lots of XP. As long as you're using an app, or like I said, a good map that pinpoints every location. You should be able to run to all six points at the start with just that one water container and not have to worry about dying of hunger or thirst. It's going to take you around 15 minutes and it's well worth doing just to get them easy experience location points. If you're really lucky you'll spawn on one side of the map so you don't have to go back on yourself. I spawned right in the middle so I had to do quite a bit of trekking. Totally obvious tip number two, make sure you complete your journey steps. Now this is maybe not as simple as you would think, but by completing all stages of chapter one and chapter two if possible, you will gain an absolute shed load of XP. And some of them are really simple, particularly chapter one, things like climbing, kicking, all the basics. So make sure you check in your menu what you need to do. When you've completed all of the ones in chapter one, it'll open up everything you need to do in chapter two. But don't worry, if you do do some things that are in later chapters, you still earn them. You don't have to wait until they unlock. It just simply reveals exactly each step in each chapter once you've completed the first chapter or the chapter before. You really should be able to complete chapter one no problem in the space of maybe 10 to 25 minutes of play. Once them chapters are done or while you're doing it, really start looking at creatures. That's how you're going to get the most XP. Some creatures give absolute bucket loads of XP compared to others. You're not going to get much for defeating an imp, but you will get absolute bundles for defeating a crocodile along the rivers. They do take a good fair amount of killing, particularly at low level, but as long as you stay behind them, you'll gain absolute bucket loads of XP by defeating crocodiles. Making sure you're following the chapter steps and really going for it with these guys, and you will get an absolute bundle of XP once you've actually slain it. And for complete noobs, you can see the white bar above your red health bar. That is the XP gain every time you get some XP. So you can really clearly see what's going on. Alongside the river, the crocodiles are going to give you the most XP. And they're one of the, I'd say, medium grade creatures you're going to be attacking. You can go for hyenas if you start venturing more in the north. That will give you good XP as well. And if you go to specific points along the river, particularly the caves, taking out a whole bunch of imps can sometimes be worth it. This is the location of the Cavern of Fiends. Imps, crocodiles, they're pretty much your best bet for getting lots of XP in either a really quick way or gaining a lot of XP by taking them out. You might only get around 360 XP taking out one single imp, but because there's so many of them and they're really easy, that can be good method. Whereas crocodiles, you get over 2000 XP by taking one of them out. 
If you thought maybe going after the turtles was a good idea, well, it depends. The small hatchlings are quick, easy, one swipe kills, but Kappa, big, tall ones, you'll only get around 1200 XP by taking one of these out. Obviously, creatures that don't fight back are going to give you nice, easy kills, but again, you've got to work out exactly how much XP it's going to be worth trying to chase a gazelle running across the desert or something. If you get to a certain level that you can take on the dregs, even if you're not going to go and complete the actual dungeon, Komodo dragons are going to give you a shed ton of XP too. In fact, the best chance to get more XP by killing creatures, you want to go towards the jungle. Killing panthers gives you a bunch of XP and they're really low health compared to some of the other creatures. The jungle is also home to some relatively easy iron deposits as well, which is the next step. Gather as much iron as possible. Harvesting this and then converting it into iron bars is a really good way to get early XP. Later on, you're going to be focusing on tier 3 building materials. That is one of the quickest ways to level up. Just keep making absolute bundles of tier 3 foundations, walls, etc. But early stages, you're not obviously going to have access to tier 3. So it's all just about killing and exploring the areas. It sounds pretty simple and pretty simplistic, but that really is the best way to level up. Funcom did recently boost how much XP you get from crafting and gathering resources, but still the best way is killing creatures. I would avoid NPCs or thralls early game, particularly as normally there's two or three of them around one campment, and if you're that low level, you'll be surprised how OP they can be trying to take them on. Relatively, how much health they've got, how much trouble they'll give you, they're not the best way to go and get XP killing these guys early on particularly low level ones when you get a little bit more advanced sure going after tier 3 thralls that will be a little bit better but early game especially around the desert the river and the jungle i would avoid going after npcs particularly after that keep building up your foundation pieces that's where you'll also gain a lot of xp don't necessarily make any other building sets other than just foundations. This will give you the most amount of XP out of any of the tiers, regardless whether it's tier 1, 2 or 3. You get nearly double the amount of XP crafting one single foundation piece compared to a wall or any other piece. Again, really obvious, but make sure you're using the right tools and upgraded tools for gathering resources. You'll get more XP by using a metal pick than you will a stone pick. So, don't just rush out, make sure you're prepped and you've got the best weapons and tools available before you start going on a crafting and gathering run. XP does scale as well depending on what level you are, so you will get a little bit more XP if you're a higher level. Taking on mini creatures is also a really good way. Now, it's going to be a bit hard if you're low level, but some of them are really just stupid with their AI, particularly the shellback. So if you find a legendary or mini boss shellback, go ahead and just start wailing on it. It will take some time, but you will get an absolute mountain of XP when you take it down. Shellbacks really are probably the only mini boss I would recommend when you're low level. Some of the other ones are just simply way too hard got way too much health and they will wreck you. I've seen a lot of talk about clearing out enemy encampments, particularly some of the higher ones that you go and get near north, like Asgarth. Obviously these are going to be places you're not going to be visiting too much early on in the game and it's still going to require you to be a certain level. So it's coming in the next part of my guide where I'll be talking about explosives, traps and yes, harvesting and going after the NPC camps in the north. But this has pretty much been it. It's really basic stuff but if you've been struggling with Conan Exiles you want to get as high level as possible. Possible, these are what I think is the best way to do it. Keep going and finding them locations, keep crafting lots of foundations and go after certain enemies that are a little bit harder to kill but not necessarily every single creature that you come across. Some spiders will give you around 700 XP, other spiders will give you around 4000 XP so it's well worth researching where you are on the map and what spiders you're actually facing. All the while you're doing this, whenever you get resources from the creatures, clearly make sure you're putting that in a good chest somewhere or you are building a base with all them foundation pieces you're building. Following my steps, following some of the basic principles of Conan Exiles and you'll get to level 15 in about an hour. In fact, I got to level 10 in about 25 minutes, but the rest of the next levels took me longer because I was faffing around making sure I got more equipment and I was going after certain creatures. If you've got any tips on Conan Exiles, how to level up fast for low level, low game, make sure you put them in the comment section before. And like I said, I will be focusing on the higher levels 
and the next video is going to be how to get to level 15 to 30 while exploring more of the advanced areas like the desert as well as taking on some more advanced creatures and crafting. Remember this is all official server settings so if you've got your server boosted on single player you'll find it a lot easier to get to these levels. If you've got any more tips to add, pop them in the comment section down below and let's get cracking and get everyone leveled up as quickly as possible so you can take on some of the hardest bosses in Conan Exiles. I am Jade, thanks for watching and I'll see you right back for another guide very soon.